I'm Sarah Miller, aquatic specialist with Seapro Corporation. So here in Lake Waccamaw, we have uh, Hydrilla verticillata, which is obviously a very bad weed. Some would argue the worst one to have. Um, some other invasive aquatic weeds uh, in the area, Eurasian water milfoil. Um, a major problem in South Carolina is a plant called crested floating heart, uh, something to be on the watch for, and we are. So today we're applying the second application of three scheduled applications of sonar. Uh, we're working in partnership with uh, North Carolina State Parks, the North Carolina Division of Water Resources, and we're out here today with um, myself and Dr. Mark Heilman from Seapro Corporation, uh, professional lake management who's doing the actual application today on the lake, and uh, we hope to have a successful day. The Sonar product line has been uh, registered for aquatic use for a little over 25 years. It's a systemic herbicide that will affect only plants that are sensitive to this herbicide. Well, it's a very effective herbicide on the existing biomass. So with hydrilla, um, this, is, this herbicide will be taken in. It will affect roots, shoots, and stems. Um, unfortunately, this is a plant that has a very strategic reproductive cycle. Uh, unfortunately, the reproductive structures that it has put in the sediment already um, can, can stay viable uh, in the sediment from what we know today anywhere uh, four to ten years before it decides to sprout. You have to be vigilant in making sure that once we've controlled the existing population of hydrilla that there are steps to prevent the reproductive structures in the soil from coming back and uh, reinfesting the lake. Well, we started the program early enough in the growth cycle uh, that we expect to um, take out the plants before they're allowed to reach a size where they can fraction and spread. Um, we started surveying very early to keep tabs on the growth of the hydrilla and begin the treatment at that right window where it's never allowed to reach maturity, get to the surface, get tangled up in boat props. We are uh, working also with um, North Carolina State University and uh, the North Carolina Department of Environment and Natural Resources to not only survey the treatment area to make sure that everything is working as we, as we planned, uh, but also to survey the rest of the lake and make sure that uh, we haven't missed any hydrilla that has spread to other areas. What are other groups doing? The most successful lakes that I've worked with around the uh, Atlantic coast that I cover and, and really throughout the country is uh, lakes that educate their residents, um, their local governments on what to look for. So how to identify a native species from an invasive species and then get those folks really involved in uh, on their day-to-day -day recreation, keeping an eye out for new infestations or even a new plant that wasn't here before. There are lots of invasive and aquatic weeds out there unfortunately moving into um, our country and uh, being vigilant about education, um, keeping folks uh, out on the lake and looking for those things and then reporting those to the right people.